Okay, uh, so before we start our sessions this evening, I would like you to try to uh, download the file uh, in the column. Okay, so maybe you can uh, try to follow my instructions. And so the steps are given, even though the step uh, looks similar. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Boleh nampak tak? Nampak, sir. Okay. Boleh. Alright, okay. Again, Assalamualaikum and very good evening. Uh, so don't forget to fill out your attendance. Link given in the chatting here. Right? So this evening, I would like to give you some briefing regarding the lab exercise, which is on the we still on the final step mission and uh, inshallah by next week we try to figure out on the lab exercise uh, regular expressions and uh, regular expression is looks interesting because uh, you need to look on the pattern uh, in the string yourself for example a very simple question saying on how you can determine the the pattern for the email okay the email that have the uh, symbols for the email, let's say for example zambirosman.edu.my, something like that, that refer to the email. Okay, so this one is on the regular expression or the short form, we call it uh, rejects. And you can find out a lot of, uh, what we call the algorithms in the rejects and there is standard rejects in the, that have in the Python library. Okay, maybe before we end our class, uh, okay, our sessions this evening. I'll give you some example on the rejects, even though it's not uh, stated in the we call it the exercise and also in the tutorial itself. Okay, so back on the focus on the surveying, which is on the lab exercise. Okay, I think that uh, maybe some of you already done on this exercise, and that is going to give some of the partial of the question of this uh, question. Okay, so. So this question actually try to give you, okay, uh, the case of NFA and NFA call it stand for the non-deterministic uh, finite state machine that we call that it may have the, what you call the, uh, the input that we give for the NFA is not ended at the that state or the what we call the, the final state it can be uh, in, in any state okay so that's why we call this one is non-deterministic because we don't determine the end of the state for the case it's compared to the uh, we call a DFA deterministic we determine the dead state for the case okay right so here we have a, a list of a strings, okay? They're given here. We have a list one, okay? Uh, don't be confused regarding these questions, okay? So this question actually is separated like this one. So you need to answer it separately. I, I can give you something like this one is list number one. This is a list number two. This is number three and this is number four, okay? So some students get confused, uh, is it? Uh, refer to the same list and then you need to combine four lists here into one diagram. No, it's not that. Okay, so what you need to do is that, okay, you separate this one into a separated answer for each of the question that we have here. Right, so previously you already learned regarding the EFA, which is a deterministic finite machines. And that one, we determine the, the day state of the final state of the case. And this one is a non-deterministic diagram for the list one until list number four here, right? Similar if you do in the previous lab exercise, which is on the uh, DFA, deterministic finite state machines, it stated that you need to draw a diagram, okay? Compared to this one, you also you need to do the, the diagram itself. But the difference for this solution is 
the diagram looks uh, we call it the diagram is a uh, uh, it looks similar okay it looks similar but the input that you put for the the the, the for the nfa here okay can be uh, ended in any state or it can be en ended in the date state okay we try to look on the list number one here which is a we have a set of all string over zero and one okay try remember again our inputs here we have a zero one or some of the equation we are using the a and b something like that and that ends with zero zero all right so here we have a uh, what you call as a in this case we have a uh, restrictions we must have a strings okay we must have a strings that will end with zero zero for example it can be like this and this one zero 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 okay so we have two strings here and there's two string so this two string is accepted because we have two strings that ends of zero zero okay so what about another another case that we have here for something like that we may be something like hmm, thinking about uh zero 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 right but this one is zero 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 we we still accept this one as uh, an fa because we end with a zero zero like this one what are the string that we can imagine let's say for example hmm, uh, we want to start one zero zero or something like that and this one also accepted because the end of the last two string here is zero zero okay so how we can design okay the nfa diagram for this rule okay this one we can we can call it as a, i can call it this one as a restriction okay restriction you want to restrict uh, the, the the input that we want to test or we want to uh, use will end by zero zero you can try imagine that uh, uh we can end like something like this one instead of zero zero we can have something the end of the string here may be some kind one zero or maybe something like a zero one and maybe something one one or something like that Okay, depends on the question they're given here. All right. So, but the question given here is n with zero zero. Okay. So, how we can use these uh, restrictions here in order to do a dry gram? Okay. Imagine that uh, we know that zero zero here is the end of the the last end of the string. So, we we may have something like this one a. Okay state of a and then we have a transitions transition this one these two transition here right to b right okay so the first transition here we have a zero and then we have another transition between a b to c right b to c here uh, right now we don't state uh, which one is the the final state or the date state of this case Okay, we have a zero zero. Okay, so if you want to test this diagram, the NFS diagram here, a zero zero here we consider as a, or we call it as a, as a, a valid string. Okay, it's valid input for the diagram here. So we can use like this one. Okay, so but in reality, if we look on this question here, we have a set of all string over zero and one but this one we only test zero and zero and zero only only two okay so what about the the other string it's one so we may have another string that reflects to the the string here but we still keep we call the the this the pattern of the string here is zero zero from this diagram okay right so since uh, this is an NFA and also uh, even in a TS, uh, DFA also must have a dead state. So we put here C as the dead state that reflects to this question. Okay, so zero, zero is correct. But what about if we have uh, something like uh, zero, 
zero zero something like this one how we can accept uh, the pattern of this uh, question something like this one okay what about something like uh, one zero zero okay what about uh, we have a one zero 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 something like this one because this this string uh, is accepted this one also accepted and this one is also accepted because uh, we have uh, a string that we have uh, the first string here is zero but this one is the first string is one and this one is one okay so based on the sample of the test input that we have here we try to figure out okay we think about zero and also one may be the input okay the first input for the this case so that's why for the uh, the state in a here the first state in this diagram we can put like this one okay we don't bother regarding either is one or zero we can put zero comma one right okay so we have here zero 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 for this one is zero 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 okay so one zero zero what this one is one Go to here is one, sorry, one. Go to A again, one, okay. Transition to B is zero, and then transition B to C is zero, okay, this one. Okay, what about the last one here? We have one, zero, 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 zero. But the thing is, if we have a A, B, one, zero, zero, only, only three strings there. So how we can accept the, what you call the transition for this one, okay? So when we may thinking about we have some another transition do we need to have another transition for this one okay do you need to have another another something like a zero something this one to accept uh this kind of the string here we may thinking thinking about like, like this one okay so think don't think about that uh the answer for this one is only stick like this one it may be have a different kind of the diagram but it's except uh, it will uh it will give what we call a uh whenever we have an input it will accept the input because we have the diagram something like that okay right so this is the thing idea here that we have here so we try to look on the the samples that are given in this uh what we call uh, this one here okay like this one here so we try to stop until without any what we call uh, another transition here that reflect to another transition here right okay sorry okay try to stop we try to stop until like this one if we have something like this diagram okay so this question here you need to work on, uh, come with the diagram nfa okay and the diagram of an nfa is look like this one okay all right Okay, so now we have a uh, one zero 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 and so on. Okay, because it's except for this one. Okay, so so once we already have this diagram, okay, once we have this diagram, there is another question. Uh, the continuity of the question number one here, which is we need to convert the NFA diagram in above for the respective TFA diagram. So what I mean in this one is that. For the diagram of DFA, we need to convert it into DFA. Okay. Because of what? Okay. So there's reasons here why we need to convert, why we need to transform uh, from NFA to the D, uh, DFA here. One of the reasons is that uh, if you still remember uh, from the slide and so on, So all the D, so all the DSA diagram, okay, okay, all the DSA diagram is NFA, okay, but not NFA is the DSA diagram. Eh, sorry, DS, DSA diagram. Yes, of course, okay. Because of what? So DSA must end with the what do you call it? The, the dead state, okay, but. NFA here, we can be n into any state. Let's say, for example, A, and we have B, and then we have another one is C, something like this one. Okay. 
So instead of uh, we have this state uh, 1 and 0 something like that and then so for example we have uh, another state here. Okay for example uh, the input for the NFA can be like this one 1 0 stop until then 1 and say 0. Okay but this one we call as a DSA because whenever we have a 1 0 he stop on, on the uh, the end state for this one. Let's say we have another one state here, we switch, we switch a D, okay, we switch D, and then uh, 1 and 0, and then going to the, back to the B here, we have 1, 1, and then go back to the D, uh, sorry, uh, A to D, D to B, we call, because this one, a 0 is, uh, we call a, it's not a dead state, again, okay, this state of P is not a dead state, but this one is acceptable in the NFA because it's non-deministic because we don't determine which is the uh, the fixed uh, final state for this one. Okay. So I just delete again inside this one. Okay. Right. Okay, so we have a diagram that I have here, this one, this diagram. So I want to use this diagram, then I want to present in terms of the transition table. Okay, so we have a diagram here and then we need to have a transition, transition table. Okay, so we have this one. So how we can transform this one into transition table? It's very simple, the table here. What we need to do is that just map whatever have in the diagram that you draw in this one, okay? So we have the input here, zero and one, and also all the state A, B, and also C here. So this is the transition table for NFA, okay, for the NFA. So we map again, that whatever we have in the diagram here, so transition A, B to B is a zero. Okay, this one is a B. Okay, so do we have a transition of one input for one here? Okay, so we don't have, so we have five here. Sorry, so we have five here. Okay, and then we have a transition from B to C. Transition B to C. B to C is still zero, so we have here. C. Okay, right. So and then we have. Uh, do we need to have have another another transition for this one? No, we don't have transition. So what about C? So C, we don't have any transitions. So five and then it's twenty five. We call it as empty here. But we still have another one here, which is A is referring to the self state, and then we have here a set of two states. Okay, so A and B. All right, so we have A and B. Okay, so if we refer this one, okay, if we refer this one as a DSA, as a DSA, DFA, sorry, DFA, it's not a DFA because in this table, the transition table, it have a file is using this one. We don't have this one in the DFA. Okay, we call this one. We don't have this one. So how we can transform? Okay, the NFA transition table into DFA transition table. Okay, right. So we need to have another table here that represent for the DFA. The same table as well, but we will utilize whatever we have in here. Okay. So right now we are using the same input zero and one as well, right? So we try to look on one by one, okay? One state to another state. So we have here, state A, B, and C. We don't put state A, B, C, and in this for the DFA, no. So we want to look at what is the potential of the, the states, either we can have a new state for this uh, 
in the DSA because we don't have a phi symbol again in the DFA. Okay, so we start from the A here because the A here is the, the start state for the case. So we have A. So what we need to do here, instead of we have an A and B here, we must merge what we call another term here. We union together the two states to become a single state. Right? So instead of sets of states here, we have another single state. Okay? Just imagine that we have another state of, uh, instead of C, we have a D, E, F, something like that. But this one we merge together to become a single state. Okay, single state. This one, okay, this one is a set of states. Okay, it have multiple of states that refer to the we got the transitions here. So A to the A, okay, referring to the same state, A to the B. Now this one, we are having a transition from A to AB, okay? Transition A to AB, right? Okay, so I think this one is not empty. This one should be A because we are referring to A and A again, zero, zero. 1 1 okay like this one so right now we have uh we don't have any union for a and a here we still got a like this one okay so right now we don't have any b anymore anymore but we have a, a b so we're gonna use this one a b here put it here in the second row so a b so a b here is come from where actually so the a b is come from these two, these two row, okay, these two row, which is a, a and also B. It's a union of two rows of states, A and also B. So the thing is that for this one, we also union whatever we have an input for transition for zero and one, that is inside here. So here we have A, B, and also C because we're gonna you look on these two rows A and B. So that's why you put here uh, a new single stress state that is A, B, C. A, B, C. Something like we have uh, merged together these two uh, A and B. So A, B, C. And since we have a A and also <coughs> phi here, that's why we only have <coughs> sorry phi here only. All right. Okay. So by looking on this one, so by looking on this diagram here that we have, sorry, the, the table that we have here, we try to look on the diagram again. So which one is the final state? So final state is this one, C. So we can have something like this one. Okay. This will be the, the entry. Okay. So we uh, circle again for the C here that refer to the, the date state or the final state. Okay. So in the DFA here, we represent it as a ABC, it's not C anymore. So that's why we circle again this one is a final state. So and then we have another single state that we did not uh, look at yet. Okay, so this one is ABC, circle it to become the final state. Okay, right. So whatever we have here, so for example here, a C, okay, we have a, a union of A, B, C, a union of A, B, C, this one, we already represent as A, B, C. So we have A, B, C, and also a phi here. So we have A, B, C, the end state, and for the input one here, for the state, a, B, C, but in the uh, NFA here we have a C, so we have A, Phi, and Phi. So if we, we union together, if we, we union together A, Phi, and Phi here, we still have A as well, because we only have A state in this table. Okay, so right now we have a uh, 
kalau D F A transition table. Okay. So from this table, we can represent to the T F A diagram. And this one is very straightforward because we just map whatever we have in this a uh, table into a diagram. Right? Okay. So next is we try to figure out the diagram for this one. We have A. Okay. Right? So next step here is transition for A to A B. So we're gonna use A B also. Okay, the transition we have here A to A B is zero. All right? Okay, so but we have A referring to the A as well is one. Okay, so we have A B and transition to A B C. Let's say I just put here A B C. Okay, so here is zero, right? Zero. And we have sorry transition from A B to A A B to A which is one. All right. Okay. So the last one here is A B C and also A B C refer to it again and this one is the dead state, right? So zero. And we have A B C. Transition to A, A, B, C, transition to A, and one. This one is one, yes, of course. Okay, right. So we have a diagram here. It looks like this one. If we compare the diagram for T, F, A, okay, for T, F, A, and also N, F, A here, it looks different. It is look different. Okay, but it's we call as a equivalency, meaning that whenever we have a diagram in the NFA, the equivalence of the DFA diagram is this one. Okay, is this one is equivalent, right? So based on the definition for the de deterministic here, we must determine that, and our input here must end up with the final state. But for the NFA here, we can end it in any state here. It's not only for the, it's not only ended in the final state. All right. Okay. Right. For question number two here, it looks like this one. Okay. Question number one is ends with zero, zero. But question number two here, it's contents. Okay, it's contents one one. All right, it's content as one one. So we don't have uh, what you call uh, ends one one here, but we have a contents of one one. So what the meaning of content one one here? Okay, is something like like this for the zero zero. One one zero and this one. In the middle of the input here, we have a one one. Let's say one 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 zero. We have something like this one. Uh, let's say another one. It's not ended like uh, we can have something like one 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 one. This one as well. So this one acceptable, right? But uh, if you look on this one, one one on the first uh, first string here. Okay, the first string here, first string input here. It's not referring to the contents. Okay, contents of one one. It's, it's, this one is called as a starts with one one content here means that it's in between okay in between the start string and also the end string okay the end input for this one so you need to design all right so the diagram for this one already given in the table here the below table here this one okay we just to make it like to clarify against what we have here Okay, for this one, we just only uh, concern about the, the the input between the start and so the end here. So this one is very straightforward actually. So we have uh, the easiest way we have we need to have a uh, three states. Okay, so we have one, 
a C. Alright, so goes to here, one as well. But we don't concern about the start, okay? We don't concern about start and also the ends of the input. That's why we have here, the start of the state here, we can have 0, 1, anything. And we end of the start here is 0 and also 1 as well. Because if, if we test the input, it's like 0, 1, 1, 0, acceptable. Okay, this one is acceptable. Let's say 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, this one is also acceptable. What about 1, 1, 1, 1? Okay, also acceptable. All right, okay. So that's why we have something like this diagram. Okay, so but this diagram is NFA. NFA, right? So how we can present this one into the diagram of DFA? which is equivalent to the DFA diagram. So like I mentioned before in the question uh, question number one, okay, so we need to have a, a table transitions, okay, for NFA, right? So if you have any question, you can uh, put in the chatting, so I try to answer it uh, during this session, all right? Okay, so I won't give you a, a full uh, answer for this one. I give you some how you can identify the steps of this NFA, okay, uh, and then transform into the DFA. So we need to have another table as well, similar in the question number one. Okay, so we have a zero and one. So we have a state A, B, and also C. All right. So according for this one, so we have uh, A to the A, A to the A, all right, okay. And then we have a transition to B also. I'm sorry. Okay. Transition A to zero is A, all right, okay, this one. So transition uh, A, to B is one, this one is B. All right, okay, we try to look again. So one to one, so A to one, okay, this one. So Mini said, we have another state here that refer to the same, uh, one for A to A, okay. Uh, we made something like this one. For example, A to A is zero, okay. A to A also to one. Okay, so we must have another one here is A, a set of state. Okay, it's the set of state. It's not being union yet because we don't uh, we don't uh, implement the the trans uh, sorry the the conversion to DFA. Okay, so we try to look B here. Transition B to C. Okay, transition B to C is one. Okay, it's this here. But we don't have any transition for input zero. Put here near, right? So the last state here is C, okay? We uh, rounded this one to refer this one is a final state. Zero for zero C, and also one to the C again, okay? So, do we have any, uh, what do you call here? This one. B to C is one, okay. C to C is zero. C to C is one. Okay, we try to look again. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five transitions that we have in the table here. Okay, so right now we want to convert this one from RFA into DFA transition table. We're going to use the same table as well, but referring to the NFA, this one. Okay. So we still have zero and one as well, okay? But we don't have a similar states as an RFA here. So we have A, right? 
So we have A, but since we have A here, okay, A again. All right, instead of we have two state for the uh, A here, okay, transition A here, we need to merge it together or we call it as a union together to become a single state. That will be AB, a new state for the DFA. Okay, so since AB here, we don't, uh, what we call, we don't analyze it yet. So you put here AB. We know we don't have any B anymore, okay? Because already we union it together to become a new, a new state. Okay, so we look on this one is A B. So this A B, right? This A B. We want to look on this one. These two here. Okay, it's two here. So A and also B. We have A merged together with the nil here. To become a new transition so a union with nil is still a okay so a b a b and c we need it together to become a b c right so since c in the nfa table here refer to the we call the the end state uh, or the dead state so we highlight this one as a okay I remove the circle here. This one. All right. Okay. So we have A, B, C as the end state A, B, C, the final state. Right. We look on together this one. So A, B, C, A, nil, and C merge together to become A, C. Okay. So we have a new state for this one is A, C. It is A, C. Right. And we try to look on the last one here is A, B, merge together with the C, and then we merge together with the C. Oh, this one is a final state, final state. And then we have A, B, C. All right. So since we have a new state here, which is A, C, we don't analyze this yet. So we put it here, A, C. And then we want to map in this table, which one? A and also C. Okay, A and also C. So we have A, C. Okay, sorry. Okay, A, C. And also, A, C for this one is A, B, C. So A, B, C. Okay, right. So since we have a C here, okay, in this uh, state, a new state here, this one will become the, uh, what you call the final state, okay, because it contains a C, contains a C. It's not contains in the A, B, and also A for the single state, but it contains in the A, C, this one, all right? So according for this one, okay, according to this uh, table that we have here, you can transform into the, what you call D F A diagram. All right, okay. So basically, that is the idea for this uh, exercise. All right. So I need you to uh, complete for this one, even though it's already partially complete in this uh, question here. Okay. So this file is not complete. So what you need to do is try to complete this one according to the step that i given in this session right you can use your own step but it's still uh what you call must follow the step that given in the table for question number two here right okay so you put your drawing inside here and it's on this side here okay so i think uh if you don't have any questions so that's all for this uh the sessions here right and try to complete this one because uh this is a very important for your understanding all right so i don't get anything from from your from from your exercise okay so you you will get a knowledge okay whenever you this complete this exercise all right you know how to transform into nfa to dfa and at the same thing you will can uh how you design the the DFA also as well, right? By using the taste uh, input and so on. 
and then you understand what is the equations based on the understanding that given to you uh, just now right okay so if uh, if you don't have any questions so we'll try to leave it to in the chatting there right okay right so i think we don't you don't have any questions so before we end our session this evening okay i will let you to fill up the attendance that i share in the chatting just now okay because currently it's only 12 that uh fill up the attendance but in the list in the google meet here i have around minus two is 16 around 16 students okay so we'll close the attendance uh, right after by 5 p.m okay this is important for your attendance for this evening all right okay so if do, if you don't have any questions i just uh, leave you to you to complete this exercise for your understanding okay and see you by this next week for regular expression okay thank you very much for your patience and see you again Thank you, sir.